What is the torch behind this uh, installation? Um, that is not the big torch. It is simply to express um, to express a public gathering space in my region, in the place where I'm coming. So just to create a sort of gathering space for the visitor of the museum to stay and just to have the feeling of being in Africa, where Chad is a, a very, very important element. The thought behind the architecture is very simple. We wanted to create a canopy. We wanted to play with the light, which is important in architecture, just to show different way how light will enter a space. And we wanted to create a sort of, of, uh, of ground, so sitting elements. So in a room, you need to sit, you need a chair. In a room, you need a bed so you can sleep. Here, you have different level of a structure. You can sit, you can lay down, you can go, could I move? You can go like this, you can also do like this. People can hang on and they're free to use the space like they behave, like they're, they, they, they feel to. So that is what we try to do. We wanted to create a sort of, of space that giving people a choice. It is built, but it gives you a choice how you deal with this space, how you use it. That is simply what we wanted to do. Static but flexible at the same time. That is it. Static, so it's built up, but flexible in the use. And then if you come together, it can be the school. It will be like a meeting space to discuss about the, the day uh, for a private a little group or to decide about the future of a village. Uh, for the community coming from this village, or people that just came to introduce something new to the village. So it will be, let me say, uh, a public space where everything will happen. Private, but education, and also public. This project here is really representative for my work because first, it deals with local material the material you can't find the most on the site. Uh, we got this wood here, in, so nearby, uh, which is part of the culture. And that is very cheap wood and fast growing uh, uh, trees. So up to two years. So uh, you see again a connection that I have to nature. So however, normally I don't talk about it, I just do it. And here we have this chance just to do it and we did it in taking these elements, um, this wood, and to, to create this installation. Uh, another aspect in the work is we didn't come with the finished installation and to install it, no. Uh, we work it with the local, we work it with the museum, and the museum work it with their um, connection, their network. So just to get the best people to help make this happen. So we build it again, I can say almost with the community. So I have learned by experience that people that took part in the, in the construction, in the building a structure, feel themselves connected to the structure. You are creating a local identity. So for sure, I cannot say that we have, through this installation, we have created a local uh, 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 um, uh, identity here because it's already available. But we have created a sort of link, so an, 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 an exchange of experience and knowledge. That's what happened. I mean, that is a very difficult um, way of doing things. But at the same time, that is all about architecture. So you have to deal with the surrounding. And then you have to give the structure to people. You have to create space for people. So, and that is what we, we, we try all the time to do. It is about people, architecture. Architecture is about people, but it is about environment. It is about the surrounding. It is about the site. How you, you arrange your space, how you arrange the construction, how you make it, how you create this space, will be a factor to transport ideas, 
to allow ideas happening. So if it is a classroom which is well ventilated, the kids will be very uh, happy to learn. It will be easy for them to learn because it's comfortable. Uh, if it's transparent and it, people like it and like to stay there, and it will allow them to sit and to listen to each other. So if you start to talk, for sure there is a solution. Um, if you can listen to everyone, for sure everyone will feel himself be part of it. And if a de decision fell, uh, has been made, so under this condition, I will say this is democracy. So, architecture is, uh, is really strong and can do more than we expect. You have first architecture for necessity. So, if there is a lake of a lake, a missing infrastructure, and you use architecture to offer this uh, infrastructure to people, this is you are, you are responding to a need. Um, if it is the Western world where people have everything and you don't think and you just build a house to where people can stay and live, uh, so you know you respond to a need. If it's in Africa where there is no school and you just create a, a box where kids can be educated, you are responding to a need. So, but if you have some people that behind this need has a lot of money and want to express something and want to go further than that. So this is our society. This is the way humankind is behaving. So you have more and then they do more. <clears throat> Nothing against us. We need museums uh, with high tech and however to, to conserve uh, uh, um, element, exponent, you know, art, piece of art. And then there is another thing that you can do. Um, with architecture to inspire people, both in the Western world than in Africa. You know, I have learned by experience through my school that are looking different, not because we wanted them to be beautiful, they're simply looking different and they're working. We feel that the kids are sitting inside and they're inspired. They are thinking outside the box, not in the compound where everything is poor and there is no way to escape except to go to the field and do the agriculture that a parent. They are saying, wow, Francis was one of us and he's able to create this and it is pleasant to sit inside. You are inspiring people, you are inspiring young people, you are inspiring their parents. And the same will happen here. If you say, instead of just create little boxes and you put uh, air con or heating system and you put different, different, different layer, many, 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 many layer to create a comfort inside. If you come with a very smart idea, so which is new but works very well, you also will inspire people. And both here or in Africa, if you happen to do this, you are bringing society forward. So you're doing something for the future of human beings. And that is a delicate thing to achieve, but that is, I think, according to myself, the role of architecture.